Darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and I look slightly ridiculous holding these up, don't I? This time I'm reviewing Batgirl Volume 1, Beyond Burnside, and Batgirl and the Birds of Prey Volume 1, Who is Oracle. I'm doing these together because A, they both have revolve around Batgirl, and B, I have way too many videos to edit, so let's just make these one. <laughs> So I'm going to do these reviews separately. I'm going to do Batgirl first and then Batgirl and the Birds of Bright second. Somehow I'll figure out how to tell you guys where this review for Birds of Prey starts if you just want to watch that one. So Batgirl Beyond Birdside, um, this is volume one, it has issues one through six of Rebirth that started in 2016. Writing and art on this is by Hope Larson, Raphael Albuquerque, and Dave McKegg. In this one we have Batgirl, aka Barbara Gordon, or Barbara Gordon aka Batgirl. Um, anyway, she is going to Japan to interview the oldest living superhero, Furt Bat, who is 104. A Batgirl is super in awe of the superhero's power, wants to know about her uh, longevity and also her mad skills, and B, she feels a connectedness to this other bat themed female superhero. So Barbara is taking a break from running her clean energy company that honestly I didn't know existed before these comics. Um, and she is going to Japan and Asia to kind of just find herself and figure out how Barbara Gordon and Batgirl fit together and who she is as a person right now. So while she's there she runs into a childhood friend Kai who is there trying to find family stuff. I don't remember why Kai's there, honestly. Um, so they have this kind of, sort of, maybe there's a romance thing gonna happen between them. And they're basically just traveling together now that they found each other. Um, I mean, why not? Way more fun than traveling by yourself. However, Kai gets randomly attacked in the street by this anime-looking uh, schoolgirl uniformed baddie. Um, with a student tattoo on her arm and Barbara starts finding out why Kai got attacked and who these people are that are attacking him. Um, also we get to see Fruit Bat in action which is pretty much freaking awesome. Going backwards we've got Kai and Fruit Bat in this picture. Um, uh, so Barbara starts looking for who's sending the student after Kai trying to locate the person known as Teacher. So throughout the series, we have kind of this sort of relationship happening between Barbara and Kai. And she also is trying to work on who Batgirl is. And to do that, she decides to join a mixed martial arts uh, fight club that's based in Singapore and work on her mad fighting skills. Um, pretty much. Um, there's a lot of traveling just around Asia throughout the story which is kind of cool. There's also a one-off issue in this book where Batgirl meets Poison Ivy and they're on a plane and they have to take down a plant that is threatening to tear the ship apart, the plane apart. Um, it's kind of cool to see Poison Ivy's perspective in this because she's all about protecting plants and nature, however uh, the plant's gonna endanger all these people and kind of which side is she gonna take? Um, so I really enjoy this kind of one-shot thing. The major story arc in Batgirl is also really entertaining and interesting, but I didn't feel a very strong connection to it. Um, so I ended up giving this one a three-star rating. So the art in here is also not really my favorite. Um, I kind of want more simplistic art styles, um, but at the same time have it look like humans. I don't know, sometimes the art's a little weird in here, like, what's up with his face? Um, yeah. So moving on to Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. This is volume one, who is Oracle. It contains issues one through six, and Batgirl and the Birds of Prey Rebirth, issue one. Um, the writing and art on this one is by Julie Benson, Shauna Benson, Claire Rowe, and Rogue Antonio. Uh, in this one, we have Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, uh, Black Canary, Dinah Lance, and this new character of Huntress, uh, who is Helena Bartonelli. Apparently, Huntress shows up in the Nightwing comics that I haven't read. 
So, ta-da, she's new to me. In this comic, we have somebody calling themselves Oracle, which is a bit inconvenient because that is Barbara Gordon's old alias from when she was in a wheelchair and couldn't be Batgirl anymore. Um, so this hacker person has taken on that persona and they are helping the bad guys, the mob, and feeding them information. And this really pisses Barbara off because A, somebody has her name, and B, they're using it for evil. So Barbara recruits Black Canary to help her out. And while they're trying to track down this oracle, they run into Hel Helena, Helena, the huntress. And this is kind of an enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing here, as they're both trying to take down the mob. Or all three of them are trying to take down the mob. Um, Oracle seems to know everything and see everything about all three of them. It's kind of creepy. Um, total stalker. And he's leading them on this chase. Um, definitely pulling the strings behind the scene. So in these comics, we have these really creepy snake villains that are strange because at one moment they have legs and then they turn into a snake with just a really long tail. I don't like them. They creep me out, basically. Not a fan of the snakes. Basically, my impression of these comics is that the three of them, Batgirl, Black Canary, and Huntress, are really awesome together and I love them. They also have a really interesting dynamic where they're all coming at this problem with different levels of morality, I guess. Um, Huntress is definitely a wild card who's more likely to just jump into things and kill, whereas Batgirl's like, hey, maybe not so much. I am not a fan of this art. Look at those faces. They are so weird. What is that face she is making? What is wrong with her? I don't understand. I do not like this art. Um, I don't like it. They don't look human. <laughs> Um, but the story I liked way more than the Batgirl comics. I was really invested in trying to figure out who is Oracle and really felt for Barbara Gordon, especially in these. I also really love Diana Lance and Black Canary. She is a really awesome character and I totally, totally associate with her. Um, I get her. So this one also got three stars out of me, but yeah, flipped on whether I liked art or writing more. So basically for both of these volumes, I think that they're decent stories. They're worth checking out if you want to. They're really good jumping on points if you've never read these comics before. Things are introduced and explained well. I didn't have a problem trying to follow who these characters were, or what their backstories was. Um, they're both three stars though, so they're not super amazing. And honestly, if you want to spend your time reading something better, I can't really fault you. Um, but I do like Bat I do like Batgirl as a character. Um, Barbara Gordon's pretty much awesome. And I really love Diana Lance's Black Canary. Huntress, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about yet. I'm probably going to have to read some more, obviously. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have read these and what you think of them, or if you're planning on reading them now. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.